Hello friends, continuing uh, with uh, examples or word examples from algebra. Uh, let's look at this question. Okay. A length of wire 44 centimeters uh, long is cut in two pieces. One piece is bent to form a rectangle in which the length is 4 centimeters longer than the width and the remaining piece is bent to form a square. If the total area enclosed by the rectangle and the square is 61 centimeters squared, find the dimensions of each shape. So now this I googled, this is a wire, okay, uh, by a, a wire, okay, uh, this is from Google. Now imagine this wire is, then you make it straight, this is a wire. So what they're saying is this is a 44 centimeters long. This is 44 centimeters long. So they're cutting somewhere. Say, let us say they're cutting here. Okay. So this is AB. And this is point BC. Or this is the BC part. Now from this, they're making a rectangle. So let me draw a rectangle. Okay, so the rectangle probably may look like this, I don't know. Okay, and from this part, BC, they're making a square. So let me draw a square. Okay. <coughs> okay, that's fine. <coughs> now, what other information do we have? What are they saying? One piece is bent, so this is bent to form this. Okay, it's not drawn to scale in which the length is longer than the width by, sorry, the length is 4 centimeters longer than the width. Okay. So, what they're saying is, if, say, this is x, the width is x, the length is x plus 4. Okay. And this is a square, so if this is y, this will also be y. If this is x, this is also, sorry, if this is x plus 4, this is also x plus 4. If this is x, this is also x. So this is a square, so all the sides would be. Okay, now can we use this information and relate with 44 centimeters long? So how are these values related with 44? I want you to think. You can pause if you want. So yeah, I think you have thought very clearly. So what's the perimeter of this uh, rectangle. So you got x plus x plus 4 plus x plus x plus 4. Adding up the, adding the boundaries will give you the perimeter. So this you got 4 lots of x. So this is very clearly 4x plus 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. And the perimeter of this shape is y plus y plus y plus y which is 4y. So I hope now you understand there's a relation. So the, if this is P1 and so this is P2, can I say P1 plus P2 is equal to 44? So let us write what is P1. So that is 4x plus 8 plus 4y is equal to 44. Now all of them can be divided by 4. So if you divide by 4, you can divide this side by four this by 4, which is perfectly legitimate or allowed in maths. So that is x plus 4, sorry, 8 divided by 4 is 2. x plus 2 plus y is equal to 11. So if you take away 2 from both sides, you can say x plus y is equal to 9. This is one equation. Okay, so let us name that equation one. Now, what is what is the second information that we have? If the total area enclosed by the rectangle and the square is 61 centimeters squared, so the area of this rectangle is x times x plus 4, which is your a1. Okay, and area a2 of this shape would be y squared. So what is a1 plus a2? Can I say a1 
plus a2 is equal to 9 to 6. So, what is a1? a1 is x times x plus 4. So, you can say x times x plus 4 plus y a2 is y squared is equal to 9 to 6. Okay. So, this becomes x squared plus 4y plus y squared. Sorry. It's always good to check what mistake did I do. Can you find the mistake? Very clear. x times x is x squared and x times 4 should be 4x plus y squared is equal to 9 to 6. So, what should I do ne next? I've got an x squared, I've got an x, I've got a, a y squared. So, you've got too many information. So, I want to try to get in terms of x. So, can I write y in terms of x from somewhere? If you look, if you look, you can see, you can write from here, y is equal to 9 minus x. So, in place of y, I can put 9 minus x. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is x squared plus 4x plus y squared. y is 9 minus x. So, it's 9 minus x squared is equal to 9 to 6. So, this is x squared plus 4x plus this is 9 minus x times 9 minus x is equal to 9 to 6. So, let us expand this. This is x squared plus 4x. So, foiling this out, 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times minus x is minus 9x. X minus x times 9 is again minus 9x. And minus x times minus x is plus x squared. So, you're almost there is equal to 9 to 6. So, you've got an x squared. So, let me group it. So, it's x squared plus x squared plus 4x minus 9x minus 9x plus 81. I'm doing in more steps so that you don't make mistakes. And even if you make mistakes, you can always go back and check. So, you've got this group. This is the other group. So, this is this is 2x squared. Now, this is 4x minus 18x is minus 14x. So, that is minus 14x. I'm taking away 96 from both sides. So it is plus 81 minus 96 is equal to 0. So, what have I got? Okay, am I doing something wrong? Yeah, there's nothing wrong. Nothing seems to be wrong. So, this is 2x squared minus 14x. Okay, now this is 96 minus, minus 96 plus 81. Okay, this is 5 and this is 1 plus 15 is equal to 0. It should be something, I'm doing something wrong. I'm not sure x squared plus 4x. Okay. Is everything fine? Oh, is equal to, oh, why did I write, no, this is 61. Why did I write 96? That's, that's my mistake. So, this is, so it's always good by, plus not sound, this is 61, this is 61. Always good to check. So, this is 61. 61. So, let me change all the 9 to 6 to 61. So, this is, let me go back. So, this is 61. This is 61. This is why you should always be careful. Okay, something was not proper. Minus 61. Okay. So, this is pretty neat. So, this is plus 20. Okay, I wanted something neat. So, 15 was not sounding good. So, this is 0 equal to 0. Okay, so this is 21 minus 61. Now, you can divide all by 2. So, it was 2x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. Now, the two factors of 10, which gives you negative 7 are negative 5 and negative 2. Because negative 5 times 
negative 2 gives you 10 and negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. So the factors are x minus 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 2. Both the answers are acceptable. So let's see if, how does that make sense. So here I'll use, I'll uh, show the answers here so that so here, I'll do use different colors for different answers. So let me use violet. If x is, say, 2, if x is 2, this would be 2 plus 4, 6 centimeters, OK? So if this, uh, so what is the relation between x plus y? So x plus y was 9. OK, so let me show you that first. Yeah, x plus, so if x is, x plus y is 9, x plus y is 9 and x is 2, y has to be 7. So 7 and 7. So the area, so yeah, in this case, let us check only one thing. So area, a1 would be 12 centimeters squared and a2 would be 7 times 7 is 49 centimeters squared, which is 61 centimeters squared. So that's fine. So let me use a different color for a different, so let me use a green. So if we take phi, if x is phi, so phi plus 4 is 9, okay? And if x is phi, y would be 4. So this is 4 and 4. So in that case, what, I'll do it here. What is a1? a1 is 9 times phi is 45 centimeters squared. And A2 would be 4 times 4 is 16 centimeters squared. That will also give you 61 centimeters squared. Okay, so let me write the answer. So the dimension, dimension of rectangle, this is how you should be writing, is 5 centimeters times, if it is 5, it is 5, if it is 5, 5, five centimeters times 9 centimeters or when it is 2 centimeters times uh, the difference is 4, so that is 6 centimeters. This is one option and for dimension of the square, dimension of square, so when x is 5, y has to be 4 centimeters. So 4 centimeter by 4 centimeter. And when x is 2, y has to be 7. So it is 7 centimeter times 7 centimeter. Hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.